so now we will see uh, gst addressable relay module or output module the part code is di9301e so this module we can use it into two mode one is as a relay module or output module and other mode is input and output module so both the way we can use it based on the need so most of the cases customer will use it as a output module or lay module so that is the default mode so now we will see the termination about this particular module as output module so here if you see uh, is a don is a to in is there loop in and is a don is a to out is a loop out we need to connect the loop cable here so the other part of this particular module if you see common no common nc and in ground terminals are there so this module comes with a end of line resistance of 4.7 kilo ohm first we want to connect this resistance between i and g so that's the first step and the relay trigger based on the relay trigger requirement we can take it common no or common nc as we require so addressing as we know we can easily program the address but when we use this particular module uh, we need to change this its mode so to change this mode uh, yeah, to uh, work as a trouble free so we have to again from the programmer plus four five six clear function three here you need to press as three and plus program so that uh, it is it will be in non checking mode non checking mode in the sense normally this will monitor some voltage on common no or common nc terminal so if you are not change not changing the programming as we uh, did here you will get an error so after doing this programming we will not get any error on this particular module so now we can connect it with the loop and use start to use but don't forget to connect the resistance between g and i so this is the step to use this particular module as only a relay module or an output module so in this mode this module will take only one address uh, whatever the address is taken is as a output module address so the second mode is input and output mode so first we want to change this module as a input and output module to change the programming what need to do just clear again four five six clear now we need to press function four we will get a dash line here now we need to press two and press program so now this module will change it into input and output module and the first address whatever the address we are programming to this particular module will be taken as the address of input module and very next address will be taken as output module example you are programming this module with the address number 5 so the in so uh, address number 5 so the input module address will be as 5 and the next address is 6 will be taken as output module address so this need to be taken care then the next level is same loop in and loop out same only and i and g will be same we can we have to connect a resistance in between 4.7 kilo ohm and if by default it will be no monitored we can <coughs> uh, we have to connect a common and no terminal between this so when it change into nc this module will act goes into alarm mode or detect the alarm mode and intimate to the panel so and common no or common nc is the output terminal we can take it and connect it with any third party device so we can use this module as a input and output module also and if i want to change this module again back to only output module yes four five six clear function four you will get a dash line now if you press any number other than two example if i press three and press program again it will change into a output module so this is the way we can change this module into 
only output module or as a input and output module and one more thing if we want to again this input we when we uh, this input g and i <coughs> normally it will be common and no monitoring mode and when it change into nc it will goes into alarm so you know if i want to change it again uh, into common nc input so that means in normal condition it will it will be in common and nc and in alarm condition only it should change into uh, no that means that also we can program it by using this programmer 4 5 6 clear function 3 then if we press 2 if we press 2 and press program now this module is changed into normally closed monitoring mode so that means in normal condition it will be in this g and i will be in nc mode in short mode and when it goes into open it will goes into alarm so the next module is uh, isolator module the part code is dc 9503e so this is nothing but the loop isolator module so when we connect any addressable fire alarm system isolator is also having an importance role which will help to isolate the short circuit on the loop cable so every 20 devices once we should connect at least one isolator so that if any cable gets shorted only those in between 20 devices will be terminated from the loop remaining cable devices will be work normally so <clears throat> so when you kind of check the termination point so in here the in no i plus and i minus in i plus and i minus is the loop in and uh, contact o plus and o minus is the loop out on this particular module and this module won't take any address now we will see a zone monitor module in gst addressable fire alarm system so uh, the need of this particular module is some cases we have some special type of detectors like lpg detector or nitrogen detector some special detectors we may require and those detectors may not be available in address addressable family so that time we have to go with some conventional detectors so when i connect those conventional detector into my addressable uh, fire alarm panel i need this zone monitor module so here the part code is di 9319e here uh, as showing here uh, the loop in is z1 z2 in terminal and loop out is z1 and z2 out terminal so that is the loop terminal that's the first connection and we have to connect the conventional detectors between i and g i is positive g is ground is the two wire conventional detector terminal here we can connect 15 to 20 detectors on this particular uh, terminal and end with its end of line resistance of 4.7 kilo ohm and also this module should powered with a 24 volt dc at least 2 to 3 amps power supply also so that external power we need to give between v and ground so in so v is at a plus 24 volt dc and g is the ground terminal so that is the way this module can be used some special requirements